All right, so today we're gonna to take a look at some settings and features that you might wanna to use to get the best experience out of the OnePlus Nord N30. So first off, let's go ahead and click on the phone icon and let's click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and click on settings. So something that you might wanna take advantage of are the caller ID and spam options. So if we simply click on this here, you can see an option that you have is to filter spam calls. So if we turn this on, that's gonna automatically detect spam calls and prevent those calls from bothering us throughout the day. So definitely wanna turn that on. Now, if we go back to the settings, if you wanna block a number, uh, you have that option right here. So you can click on block numbers and it gives you the option to block calls from unidentified callers if you want or if you want to manually add a phone number to your block list, you have that option right here. Also, if someone is in your contact list and you wanna block them, you could go to your contact list and just block them through there as well. Now, let's go ahead and go back to settings again, and let's scroll down to the advanced area. So one thing you can do is choose to have the caller ID announced whenever a call is coming through, so that way, if the phone is maybe across the room and it's ringing, you don't necessarily have to go over there to see who's calling. So you can turn that on and that's a convenient feature as well. Also, under the advanced area, you have the flip to silence option. So if your phone is ringing, if we turn this on, all you would have to do is flip the phone over face down to silence the call. And this could be useful, you know, in the nighttime, maybe if you're asleep and you have your phone on your nightstand and it starts to ring, all you have to do is flip the phone over and it's going to silence that call. So let's go ahead and go back to the home screen. And now let's go into the settings option and let's click on the mobile network tab. And from here, let's go to more settings. So something that you wanna have turned on or you might wanna have turned on is the smart 5G option. So this is going to automatically switch between 5G and 4G to help reduce battery consumption. So you can see that's something that I like to have turned on. Now, if we go back and we go into call settings, what you can do is click on accessibility function. And if you need hearing aid compatibility, this is where you can turn that on. So let's go ahead and go back to our main settings window. And now let's go ahead and go to the Bluetooth option and let's click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and go to more settings. So something that you may wanna turn on is the device volume sync. So this is gonna make sure if you have a Bluetooth device, whether it's a speaker or a set of earbuds, um, that the volume is synced between your phone and the device. So whenever you make an adjustment to the volume on your phone or an adjustment on the Bluetooth device, the volume is in sync and they're not separate from one another, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and go back to the main settings window. And now let's go to connection and sharing. So if you go to screencast, this is what allows you to cast whatever is on your phone to a TV. And all you have to do is make sure that your phone and the TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And once you've done that, it will allow you to search for available devices and you can simply choose the TV that you want to cast your display to. So again, let's go ahead and go to the main settings window. And now let's go to sound and vibration. So one option you have in here is the live caption option. So whenever you're watching a video on your phone, if you turn this feature on, it's going to automatically create captions that show up on the screen. So for example, maybe if you're trying to be quiet and watch a video with the volume down, you could use the live captions so that you can simply read everything on the screen. So let's go ahead and go back. And now if we scroll down and we go to the more option, something that's useful is the default device. Uh, so what you can do here is actually use a peripheral device to record audio. And basically what that means is if you're recording a video, if you're using a set of earbuds that are connected to the phone, 
you can choose to record the audio from the microphones of the earbuds. Uh, so for example, maybe you had the phone set up on a tripod, uh, maybe a few feet away from you. If you have the earbuds in your ears, you can record with the earbuds. That way the audio is closer to you compared to the actual phone, which will give you better audio. So again, let's go ahead and go back to the main settings window. And now let's scroll down to privacy. So in here, you can go to the privacy tab and it gives you a few different options. So you have the option to lock certain apps. Uh, so if we click on that, it'll ask for your fingerprint or the face unlock or your password, uh, whatever you have set up. So let me go ahead and enter that here. And now it gives you the list of apps and you can choose which app that you might want to lock. Uh, so this might be useful if you have children that use your phone as well. And there's certain apps that you don't want them to have access to. And whichever apps you choose, you can require a password in order to open and use that app. Now, another option that you have is to completely hide apps. So if you click on this here, uh, again, same thing, it'll ask for your password or your face unlock, whatever you have set up. And same thing, it gives you a list of all the apps. And rather than simply locking specific apps, you can choose to hide them all together. So perfect if you have kids or children that you don't want accessing certain apps. Now, if we go back again, uh, you have the private safe. And this is where you can store uh, private photos, private audio recordings, private files, things of that nature, documents. Uh, so this is where you can store them and access them as well. Uh, so you can see if we just click on the images and videos, I just got some random pictures in here to show you guys as an example. But anyway, if you wanted to hide certain things in here and require a password in order to access them, this is how you would do it. And just to show you for photos, all you have to do is go into your photo gallery. And if you pick a certain photo, uh, let's say this one right here, which is just a screenshot actually, or let's do this one right here. What you would do is click in the lower right hand corner on the three dots and you can choose hide. So if you select that, that moves it to your hidden album. And then if we go back to the private safe and we can enter our password, once again, it's already in there so it knows we're still active. And then if we go, you can see that photo is now in the hidden folder. So let's go ahead and go back to our main settings window once again. And now let's go to the battery page here. So in here, you have a few different options to manage your overall battery. So you have your power saving mode, which is definitely nice to have uh, if you're running low on battery. And what you can do is go in here and you can actually choose to have power saving mode activate once the battery has reached a specific level. Uh, so you can see I have mine at 30%. So whenever it hits 30%, it's going to automatically go into power saving mode, which is going to do things like reduce screen brightness. It's going to do things like reduce the refresh rate and just other measures that can help preserve your battery life. So that's definitely a convenient feature. Now, if we go back, we can go into battery health. And as you guys know, the N30 has really fast charging. Uh, thanks to the Super VOOC technology and everything like that. And what you can do is actually turn on this feature called wise charging. And basically what this does is that it won't charge the phone past 80% until right before you're about to use the phone. And basically the phone will learn your charging schedule and charging habits, and it will kind of use that to throttle the charging to help preserve the overall battery life. And you do have the option to have this turned on only at night, or you can have it turned on all day. As you can see, I have it turned on all day. So let's go ahead and go back. And now we can go to more settings. And in here, you have the option of high performance mode. So if we turn that on, that is going to optimize the phone to run the fastest and give you the best performance. Uh, so maybe if you're planning on doing some gaming or something of that nature, you can take advantage of this feature to give you the overall 
best performance. Just keep in mind that it's going to increase your battery consumption and it might cause your phone to heat up in terms of temperature. So let's go ahead and cancel that and we'll go back to our main settings window once again. And now let's take a look at the special features. So first you have the split screen option and what you wanna do is make sure you have this option turned on where you can swipe up with three fingers to enter split screen mode. So let's go ahead and open up YouTube, which is split screen compatible. And again, you can use three fingers and swipe up to go into split screen mode. So now we just have to open up another app and let's just pull up our photo gallery for an example. And you can see you have YouTube up top and then the photo, ga photo gallery down at the bottom. And you can resize each window as you see fit as well. So that's a nice convenient way to open the split screen mode very quickly. So let's go ahead and go back into settings once again and back to our special features. And in here, you also have the option of kid space. So again, if you have children, this is a really good feature to take advantage of. Um, it allows you to choose specific apps that you want them to have access to and it allows you to set a time limit for how long they can use the phone. So definitely a useful feature. Now you also have the option of simple mode and this might be good for elderly folks. Um, so basically it gives you bigger icons and just makes everything easier to see and navigate. Uh, so we'll show you an example here really quickly. So as you can see, the icons are bigger, they're more spread out and it's just easier to see everything. Now to get out of this mode, we'll have to go back into the settings and you can see you have exit simple mode right there. And we'll go ahead and choose that and go ahead and exit. So let's go ahead and go back into the special features area where we just were right here. And another useful application inside of this area is the Zen space. So this gives you the option to set a timer for you to focus and take a break from the phone. So you can see you've got different options. You have a one minute option. Um, you have a 60 minute option. So if there's something that you need to get done and focus on, maybe it's studying for school or doing something for your job or work or something like that, this will basically put the phone in a locked state so that no applications are able to be accessed and you basically have no reason to pick up the phone. So you can also use this as a means to simply relax and just take a break from your device. So definitely a useful tool if used properly. So let's go ahead and go back to the main settings once again. And now let's go into additional settings and let's take a look at the options for screenshots. So in here, you can see you got a few different options and similar to the whole split screen option, uh, you can use three fingers and swipe down on the screen to take a screenshot. You can also use three fingers and touch and hold the screen and choose to take a partial screenshot. So I'll show you how that works here in a second. Or you have the option to hold the power and the volume buttons to take a screenshot, uh, which is pretty similar across all phones. So let me go ahead and show you guys how that works. So again, you can use three fingers and swipe down. And as you can see, it just took a screenshot or you can use three fingers and hold them. And now you can choose which area of the phone you want to screenshot. So you can get a little bit more specific using that option. So definitely really, really cool. And that's just a convenient way to take a quick screenshot. So now let's go ahead and open up the camera. And really quick, a tip that I have is to go ahead and click on these three lines in the upper right hand corner. And what you can do is click on the high res mode. And this is going to allow you to take advantage of the 108 megapixels that the Nord N30 has to offer. So if you wanna get the highest quality photos, that is the mode that you wanna use. Now, as far as your gallery, one tip that I have is that you can choose albums and if you scroll down, you can see you have this area where it says recently deleted. So if you deleted a photo and it hasn't been more than 30 days, you can actually access it in this area and choose to restore it if you want. 
Now let's go ahead and go to the home screen and let's long press the home screen. And one other option that I like to customize is the transitions of the apps. So if you scroll over and click on transitions right here, you can see it gives you a few different options as far as the animations when you're scrolling through your apps and your tiles. So you can see you have the default and it shows you an example of how that looks. And then the one that I prefer is the roll option. So you can see it just looks a little bit cooler when you're swiping through the apps. Uh, you got some other options in here as well, as you can see, but I'm going to leave it on the roll option. So let's go ahead and apply that. And now when we go to our home screen and we're switching between apps, you can see it just kind of rolls over and it just looks a little bit more interesting in my opinion. So those are just some of the settings and features that I've been enjoying on the Nord N30 so far. If you found this video to be helpful, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.